Hello guys and welcome back to another video and for this video we're doing the draw this in your style challenge and if you've not seen this challenge just literally type in the hashtag over on Instagram or Twitter and you'll just be bombarded with loads of amazing artwork and I think it's like just one huge collaboration which is always good and for this one I'm redrawing as you saw in the little picture that flicked up Casey Golden's um, draw this in your style picture I just liked how hers was, because most of the ones that you'll see are like just typical bust shots, which don't get me wrong, I love drawing bust shots, they're just quick and fun to do, but because of the quirky pose that she was in and the fact that she was a green cactus girl, I think that's what really caught my eye. So that's why I decided to draw hers. I have done another one and I've got a few ideas of others that I want to do as well, which I probably do them in all those videos. I have one other video recorded that's a draw this in your style one. But yeah, if you like this video, then give me a thumbs up and I'll know to post other ones of this. Because I think it's quite a fun challenge to do. And I really enjoyed doing this one, though there was a few challenges I had. I mean like one of them was usually I draw horns, so that that was fine, not a challenge, I like, really enjoyed and I kind of like how it looks. It looks a little bit odd having the unicorn horn between her two little, well not exactly little, but cactus things on her head, but turning her into a mermaid was a struggle but fun at the same time because I was really trying to think of how I could do it and make the composition work overall and I didn't want to lose the plant pot out of the image so finding a way to make the mermaid tail work and keep the plant pot was it, it took me a while it took a lot of planning and just redrawing but how I've got it with like the tail popping out of the plant pot like it's just broken it and then the end of the tail actually being on the left hand side instead of on the right where I originally drew it I think it helps with the overall composition and it kind of like from the colours and then the shapes it just guides you around the whole image and just brings you back to the face in the middle. I hope it does that anyway. But yeah that, that was the plan to try and use some of my um, fundamentals on composition to help this piece work overall and it was also fun playing with my watercolours again because in that little palette that you can see I actually made I think it's like four of them in there I've made myself because I just have loads of different liquid watercolours and I wanted specific tones like more tealy tones and some purples I didn't end up using the purples in this piece but especially the teal tones and I just I don't have the money to go and buy them so I was like, well, I've got the colours here to mix it myself, so why not? I had empty paint pans as well, or half pans. So, yeah, I have custom watercolours. If any of you have liquid watercolours and, you know, you don't have a colour you want, but you think you could make it, just go for it. It's all part of the fun of experimenting, I think. But um, I also had the chance to play with my Gansai Tambi watercolours again, and I'm loving the metallic. They're so pretty. Um, because my I don't have like a very vibrant pink watercolour, but the pink from the Gansai Tambi set is like very, very pink, very vibrant, and I wanted it to really pop off her face. So I think it really worked using those ones. And the extra metallic shine is always appreciated. And then I thought, you know what, I'm going to put metallic bits everywhere just for highlight and for detail and I may have gone slightly mad with it, but it it's it works. So yeah, why not? Um yeah. Anyway, for the last couple of days, I've actually been recording some vlogs to do like a studio vlog sort of thing. And but I don't know whether to stick with doing just in the studio or recording like bits of my daily life too. So let me know or if you well, let me know if what you'd prefer, like both or just one or the other. Or if you're just not interested in vlogs, just let me know and then I just won't bother, I guess. 
I'm sort of enjoying doing it. I'm trying to use it as a way to be more confident with doing voiceovers and talking to a camera because at the minute I'm kind of like in the middle. I'm not at the level that I can properly vlog in public. I think that's a, a little way off yet but putting my face out there a bit more and talking just like doing some real talk sort of things is something I'd like to do like going through what it's actually like to be an art mum I mean everyone has the expectations of what they think it's like I mean even I had them before I had kids I thought oh yeah yeah I can do it like this I'll be fine I'll be fine but yeah <laughs> expectations versus reality it's one of those sort of things and I have a few videos that I have in the planning to talk about those and I'm just trying to find a style like how to do it whether to do it vlog style or uh, as a voiceover over a drawing or a mix of both so if you have any preference please let me know because personally I enjoy watching vlogs and I really enjoy studio vlogs but obviously everyone's not me so not everyone will enjoy the same as I do but yeah I don't think there's much left for me to say other than you know go over head on over to Instagram I and mean, don't forget to follow me over there if you don't already and on Twitter I'm just at Hetty's Art on Instagram but my links are at the end of the video and they're in the description and just go and like browse through the draw this in your style hashtag and you'll probably be like amazed just as I was at all the amazing artists on there and the amount of people you can connect with just through this one hashtag is quite astonishing really because sometimes it's really difficult to find artists I mean with algorithms and all that jazz especially since Facebook took over Instagram that's all I see is people complain but in terms of using a hashtag that doesn't even come into it so it's just like opening a door for all the artists to see each other's work and it's great um, so yeah I'm just gonna leave it at that for now because I'm just gonna keep rambling on otherwise I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time bye <laughs>